Good morning! My name is Neelay Patel and I am the designer here at Jesse James Beads and I want to welcome you to another fabulous morning uh, wake and make with me. We have a fabulous, fabulous project planned today so let me show you that. We are going to learn how to make this gorgeous, simple, easy, fun design using soft flex wire and geocage beads. Now check out how gorgeous and easy that's going to be. Um, we are using Selflex wire and the geocage beads, uh, fun enough, is going to be, they're running a special sale, this, which ends today at midnight, guys. Um, we're talking three, if you buy three geocage beads, you get one free. They bundle them as well as they sell them individually, so this is an awesome, awesome deal. Um, so I'd highly check that out recommend checking that out but I'm using three here so you can get an extra one for free if you want to make another separate pendant so let's uh, jump into the design though because that's what we're here for right alrighty I am going to switch the camera around and I'm going to explain what the materials are that we're using so let me adjust this guy here all right now, here's sort of my setup, and let me pull the necklace down so we can take a really good look at it. And we're only using a couple tools as well. But think of this as sort of a skeleton design because I'm also going to show you how to incorporate some other beads with it um, to get a whole different effect. So, of course, we are using geocage beads. Again, you can get buy three, get one free uh, all the way to midnight tonight, so definitely check out that sale. Um, for any of the soft flex materials that I'm using, you can actually grab that at jessejamesbeads.com. But for this design, you're going to need a 20 millimeter, and this is, I believe, a medium sized geocage bead, a 16 millimeter, which is the smaller one. And now they actually include the baby size, as I like to call it, the 12 millimeter ones. Um, and I believe they bundle them together too, so that's kind of fun to have some extras to work with. You're only going to need a couple tools. You're going to need a pair of crimpers. I'm using Zuron um, crimpers here, which are absolutely fabulous. And a pair of cutters that is just for beading wire. You do not want to use your wire, your half hard wire cutters, because that would definitely not <laughs> cut well. Um, as far as other findings go, you're going to need a few jump rings. This is just to connect the cage beads together. You're going to need several crimps. Um, that will be used to make our little teardrop shape here, as well as connecting the back pendant part. And then I'm actually using three colors of soft flex wire. Now, fall, I think, is the best time and excuse to use as many of these earthy, fabulous colors as possible. And so I thought to really make the geocage beads pop, it'd be good to really have them showcased and um, combining them. So I'm going to use all of those at once. How about that? All right, so let me move some of these things out of the way. And real quickly, I do want to show you how to connect the pendant part together. What I've done down here, um, thanks to the geocage holes, you can connect them with the jump ring. And then I just added a tassel at the bottom. You can definitely find these in any of the Jesse James Beads packages. I happen to grab this one from the Pantone uh, 2017 Fall Mix, and I'll probably use some other beads there here in a little bit just to show you how you can customize this design. But I'm going to pull those off, put my card out of the way, and what I've done here is I've cut three strips of those different colors, and this is about, I want to say two and a half inches, but let me double check with a ruler. We are looking at, if I measure in there, oh, about three inches, so a little bit off there, but you want to cut three three-inch pieces. And to achieve my teardrop shape, this is where the real magic happens. Super easy, you're actually just going to thread it through the geo cage. I do recommend that you have the um, hourglass shape face up and you just thread it through that. And then same thing down on this guy. You could find that little hourglass shape. Here it is, which is directly above, you know, where my jump rings are connected. And then all I'm going to do is just pinch those together and put a crimp at the very tippy top. 
See if I can get a crimp on there. There we go. Okay, so my crimp is established, and now I'm just going to simply crimp it using my Zeron pliers. There we go. I'll just now flip it on its side. Crimp, crimp, crimp. Okay, basically I have a teardrop shape, and now you just pull it through the geo cage bead and you instantly have your teardrop shape. Isn't that fun and easy? So I'm gonna do that with all three of them now. And I love this layered color effect uh, that it's got going on. And I think, again, it is perfect for fall to be able to utilize all those beautiful colors. I'm using Amethyst, Citrine, and Garnet, all three of which are available on www.jessiejamesbeads.com. Thank you for carrying those finally. I know we've been asking about it for quite some time. And Sarah James made that happen. Um, they do come in 10-foot spools, so check that out. All right, so we're rocking and rolling here. This is really easy, really quick too. So if you've got something to go to um, event-wise, then I think you could just whip this out pretty quick. All right, last one here. Here we go. Crimp that guy on. I'm using um, two millimeter crimps, by the way. And that is perfect for this medium-sized wire. And I think it just disappears, actually, in those geocage beads, which is what I also love about these guys. All right, how easy was that? I mean, I got my shape in real good, real quick. Okay, so now what I want to do is I kind of want to embellish, because that's my thing <laughs> to do. And... Look at this, like I dumped my entire bundle out into <laughs> a little plastic tub. I've got um, the maple, I believe it's autumn maple. Then I've got my grenadine and um, my tawny port. Although I, I did go on a shopping spree and I bought some other beads to go with my tawny port. So, and I just love mixing them up together. Then I could just kind of dig through here and, and choose which beads that I want to use, but I think there's still some left. I can't promise there might be too many, especially after this video, so I definitely recommend that y'all check out the collections on Jesse James Beads. Okay, so I kind of want to put something in between my geo cage and um, my loop there. And so let's pick out something that I could put on a jump, or a, yeah, jump room. There's so many beads to choose from. I kind of want to do a mini tassel, actually, I think, just to have a little pop of color. So let's give that a go. And what I've noticed is that this has a silver um, silver band on it, and so our cap. But I'll probably go back and paint that later with some vintage paints to kind of tone down that color so it all matches. But let's see if I can get it through the jump ring. Now, you could pick out any beads that you want, but you can really, like, the Geo Cage beads opens up so much inspirations that you can really connect all kinds of things to it. My little hand is not going to be able to get in there, so I'm going to use the assistance of another plier. Um, these are just my bent chain nose. Whoop. There we go. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing eye surgery. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, go for it, is what I say. You could really just tassel the heck out of this thing and make it work. Um, for the top, if you want to connect it, I recommend that you continue with the soft flex wire, which is what I did. You could also put a chain on it for a different effect. But all I did was just crimp the ends to, whoop, here we go, a jump ring, as you can see. Just made little loops, crimped them there, and on that side too, and then just put my clasp on. So it's really fun and easy to make this design. And you could even put beads on the teardrop shape for a different effect, so that they're kind of suspended and hanging down. So there's a lot of possibilities, and I just am in love with these Geo Cage beads. I think Jesse James Beads has impeccable taste and really opens up for some great inspiration and design. 
And thanks again for carrying Softflex wire. I really, really appreciate that. And we're just adding to the family. So what can I say? All right, back on again. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and it was really, really fun making this design. So I'm gonna make the rest of it and then probably head out the door and get my morning started. I hope you all love the demo. And if you wanna see more of these particular demos, you could subscribe to Jesse James Speed's YouTube channel. And I've also got a brand called Beads and Bubbles, and you should check that out. You can hit up your search on Facebook for Beads and Bubbles and um, find my little champagne glass that's bursting with beads as the graphic. So until next time, um, we're going to continue creating, and I love Jesse James Beads, and I love you guys, and happy morning!